Oh, we have a chewed out queen cell. Son of a gun. I missed one. Doggone it. Yeah, there you go. We have a queen on the loose. Maybe she's just, uh, maybe she's just uh, on a mating flight. Hey, bug farmers. Welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. Hi, bug farmers, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today, it's been 30 days since we've done the Demeray splits, and I get in a lot of trouble every, every time I call it the Demeray splits, um, because the folks in the comments keep letting me know that it's the Demeray swarm control method. So I'm going to take a moment to go off on a tangent and tell you why I call it the Demeray split. I'm gonna give you my logic, right? Now, I know it's probably officially called George Demeray, it's not Tiberius, it's George Demeray. When he came up with it, he probably called it the Demeray Swarm Control Method. It's probably how it's written in Wikipedia and in beekeeping journals throughout the land. But I'm going to tell you why I call it the Demeray Split. And that is because what we've done inside that hive, in my mind, is we've done an internal split. I took the queen and a few frames of, of eggs, the same thing you would do if you were going to do a normal split. You would take the queen and a couple of frames of, of brood and food and you would move them off into a into another hive, their own nuke, their own, their own box somewhere so that they could start a new colony. And the girls that are left behind would take some eggs from the previous queen that you have moved into another box and they would make queen cells and generate a new queen and then she would mate and come back and then she would lay eggs and it would be her hive. Well, what we did is we took all but three frames of brood and eggs and food and everything else out of the bottom box, making the queen think that she's in her new box, but it's still in the same hive. And we took all the rest of the frames and we moved them two or three boxes up. And let me tell you, the bees believe that they have swarmed. They believe that they split because if they didn't, they would not have started generating queen cells in the upper box. So those queen cells, I had to pick pick them all out. I picked all of them out, but I missed one, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, they believed that they had split. They believed that they had their own hive, and they were going to start the population of their hive with their queen. So it was a split. It was just done internally to keep all of the bees inside the box. So that's my that's my rationale. That's my logic. That's why I believe that calling it a Demeray split as opposed to a Demeray swarm control method. It's not a misnomer. I mean, it should be interchangeable. Tomato, tomato, it's the same thing. We did control the swarm and we did split the queen from her bees, in my mind. So that's that's why I call it the Demeray split. So you don't have to give me any more, any more flack in the comments. It's it's okay. We can we can agree to, to call it whatever we want, but it's pretty much the same thing. We've we've done the thing, right? So it's it's happened. Anyways, now let's get back to the bees generating a queen in the upper box. Apparently I missed a queen cell in hive number two, and we found a queen last week up there. Thank goodness that I missed it because we found a queen and we moved it into the Enigma hive. So we're going to be checking on the Enigma hive today to see if that queen has mated, was mated, is laying eggs. We want to find a queen that is laying eggs in that box because we need a queen that's laying eggs in that box. Um, we're also going to check on the Crynoch bees in hive number three. Now that was a weak nuke that I brought over from the bee yard, but that is the queen from the, the pink bee barn. And I gave her quite a few bees, but apparently they left and went out and forged and came back and flew into the, the bee barn up front, which is good for my honey production this year, but it was bad for the, the Crynoch queen because her population was dwindling. Anyways, I gave her a couple of frames of capped brood. She should be okay. We're going to check today to see if they have hatched. And then when I'm all done, probably when I'm signing off on the video and, and saying goodbye, my closing shot, you're going to see me walking around, put some grub X around these hives because I've received the comments from a lot of you folks that suffer from the same hive beetle dilemma that I, that I am been burdened with. You say that putting grub X on the ground around the hives will solve my problem because if if the hive beetles do lay eggs in there and the eggs do turn into larvae and they do get pushed out of the hives, they're gonna fall on the ground where they bore into the ground and then they're gonna croak and not turn into beetles and come back into my hive. So I'm going to try to break the cycle this year in this bee yard 
with grub etch. Now I can't do anything about some of the other bees that are in this area. They probably still have hive beetles and my hive smells so wonderful. I'm sure those beetles are just flying over here. But if that happens, we got the beetle sucker 5000 too. So I'm not really worried about it. Anyways, let me get my veil on, my smoker lit. and Let's get into these uh, into these hives. Yeah, it actually appears if I'm ha as if I'm having a swarm right now. That's what I think is going on. Let me, uh, let me go down a box. I guess I missed a queen in here. Oops, my bad. There we go. I think that's what's happening because I think I've got girls up in that pine tree right there. Well, that's not how I wanted to start this video. Okay, ladies. Maybe she's still in here. We're gonna have a look around really fast. See if we have any chewed out queen cells or any queens running around in here. Tell you what, these hives are packed with bees. Okay, I do not see any queen cells there. Or chewed out here. Well, I tell you what, that will be a shame if the swarm control method failed. But there's an awful lot of activity in this box. All right. Nothing happening there. Let's see if I have a queen on the front. I don't, but boy, this, this hive is putting off a lot of racket. A lot of racket. Now, I do have three swarm traps around here. I hope that uh, if they do swarm, they find them. I will remove the queen and bring those bees directly back to this hive. Oh, we have a chewed out queen cell. Son of a gun. I missed one. Doggone it. Yeah, there you go. We have a queen on the loose. Maybe she's just, uh, maybe she's just uh, on a mating flight. And that's what's got everybody ginned up. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's a swarm. Son of a gun. I thought I had uh, done a better job of preventing it. Apparently I did not, but maybe she hasn't come out yet. Maybe we'll catch her. No, nope, not there. Oh, I just smelled the banana. Somebody shot the banana on me. All right, nothing there. Let me look around again. See if I see a swarm in the trees. I, I just don't, I don't see one. But boy, I tell you what, you can hear it on the mic and you can see the activity on the front. And let me tell you, maybe they were just doing a fire drill. I mean, that, that's a possibility. Let me look on the front again. Make sure I don't have a queen here. They don't see one. I mean, would they want to swarm with a virgin queen? Mm -hmm. I guess if uh, if they smell the queen down in the bottom, they would. Mm -hmm. This hive is crazy busy. <laughs> well, it looks like all the bees are coming back. All right, maybe it was just a fire drill, but we do have a queen, a chewed out queen cell in there. Okay. All right, not a lot going on there. Like, they had a lot of fanning going on here. So I can tell you this, they were barreling out of the top entrance and not the bottom entrance. So that is a sign that it's that virgin queen that we missed because that is a chewed out queen cell. Let's see what we have here. Come on. It's hard enough for me to find a queen on a good day, let alone a virgin queen, but I really don't think I'm going to have uh, much of a choice. I'm going to have to find her. There she is. We have a virgin queen right here. All right. And now we have captured a virgin queen right there in the box. 
know whether that camera's going to let you see her or not, but I've got her. Okay. So I'm going to look and make sure that we don't have another one. So I guess the good news is as follows. These girls are going to come back to the hive. I've got their virgin queen. If the Enigma queen did not take, well, I tell you what, <laughs> we've got another one. We'll throw another one in there. And if it did, then I'll just pinch that queen. Or I'll take a couple of these, uh, like a medium here, with a couple of frames in it, and I'll make another another hive. Or maybe I'll, I'll fill up one of these nukes. Okay. Okay, that is the only queen that I see. And that was the only queen cell that I saw. So I will take another quick look through it. I'll let you know what I find or don't find. I, I'm not going to make you sit through all of this. Um, I'll be back in, in one second when I'm done uh, looking through these uh, frames again. All right, so I caught a second queen. There she is in there. Son of a gun. Lucky number 13, I guess. Crynock, we failed, buddy. Holy moly. This is Hive 13. This is the one that you and I were double teaming last week. Holy moly, two queens running around in here. I don't think I have any more in here. Got to listen for piping. That's how I found that second one. She was piping. All right, all right, all right. So I tell you what, that was in the nick of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down all the way to the bottom just to make sure that the queen that's supposed to be in this hive is in here and doing what she's supposed to do. Okay, it's official. So there were three queens in this box because I did see a swarm in that tree. I, they're not going to make it. It's about the size of a baseball. Maybe, maybe a large golf ball. It's a very small swarm, so they're either going to come back or or call it a day and, and go off and try to survive. Maybe they'll move into one of my my, my swarm traps here. Let's, uh, let's see if we have a, a queen down here. Let's hope like hell that we have a queen down here. Yeah, right. Let's also hope that they're, they're drawing some of this comb out for the queen so she has some place to lay. Okay, nothing happening there on either side. A lot of bees down here, though. Okay, that's all brand new comb. I don't see the queen, but they're filling it with honey. Don't fill it with honey, ladies. That's the same thing that was happening in hive number one. That needs to be for your queen. That is, that is, that, that comb is for her. What are you doing? Okay, there's a full frame of brood. I love it. Do we see the queen? It's kind of imperative we find her. I see eggs on there. Our queen should be painted, and she should be uh, of the red variety. Oh, there's a full frame of capped brood. There's some wonkiness. We're not going to allow that to happen because, let me tell you, that kind of wonky comb makes it hard to find the queen. And it had what looks like a couple of queen cells on the bottom, but they are empty. I don't know what they're doing there. That's gone. That is a beautiful frame. Right there. Capped brood ready to hatch. It's important I find the queen here. Where are you? Where are you? Beautiful on the other side as well. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I do not see the queen unless she's in the gutter. I'm going to go ahead and move along. Hopefully we'll find her. If not, we'll take another, another pass through here. This video may be all about this hive. We may not have time to do anything else. Holy moly. This hive is uh, taking a lot of work. That's a, that's a helicopter. Don't see it, but boy, I hear it. Oh, here it comes. All right, that is a, there's not our queen. Let me take a look at the helicopter really quick. I've been fascinated with them ever since I was a kid. I love helicopters. Don't know why. Eh, it's not military or anything, just a, 
like a plain old plain Jane helicopter. I'd love to love to fly in one. That would be great. Never been in one. Well, I take that back. I've been in one, but it was on the ground. I've never flown in one. That would be a blast. She doesn't have any queen cells down here, so she's not ready to swarm out of this box. And I have seen milk brood and eggs, which tell me that, that she's, she's busy down here. All right, all right. Let's have a look. Oh, man, every frame is just loaded. Every frame is loaded. Solid brood. Wow. Oh, there's a queen cell being being made. Right there. We're not going to have that. Oh, that's that's completely done too. Yeah, we're going to cut that out. Don't want that. If I need a queen, I got two two of them already. Based on what I'm seeing, it's very unlikely that mm -hmm. that was the the bottom box swarming there. It was uh, it was the top box, but I tell you what, I think we caught this one just in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. This side, lot going on. Another teacup, empty. Let's go ahead and kill it. I'm gonna have to find this queen. I'll be back in a second while I look. Another teacup. There's our queen right there. All right, there she is, right there. So she's still in there. She's a red queen. Let me make sure that all the uh, all the teacups and things that would want make her want to swarm are gone, and then we'll uh, we'll get out of this hive. Uh, what I will do is I am going to checkerboard these frames now to try to get them to draw them out. That is something that I will do. Take these out. Move the queen over there. Take this one out, put it on this side. Move it all the way over. Ladies. There we go. All right. So I tell you what, I'm going to call hive number 13 a lucky hive because it's lucky that I walked up on this thing right when it was starting to swarm. We pulled two queens out and the uh, literally the size of the swarm that left this box and is up in that tree is that big around. I mean, it's the size of a golf ball, maybe a little bit bigger, but not even as big as a baseball. So we lost maybe, what, 100 bees? That's yeah, okay. There's still plenty of girls to keep filling these boxes and this hive, let me tell you, they are filling these boxes. So now let's jump over to the Crynoc bees really, really fast. Then we're going to jump over to Enigma and then we'll say goodbye. And I'm going to look through the rest of these hives and I'll report back to you, I guess, on Instagram or next week and let you know how that worked out. Let's uh, let's jump over to the Crynoc hive. All right, so these are the Crynoc girls. And I tell you what, I'm going to have to get down on my knees oh, in order to inspect them because it's a, it's a single here. I should have brought some knee pads, but eh, what are you going to do? As far as the camera can tell, I'm probably still standing, right? You can, you can only see my from right there. Okay, anyways, let's uh, let's give them some smoke. Let's see if these girls are digging their new environment. Okay, we have bees in the top. That's a good sign. I don't know what that was, a little spider or something. Oh, okay, they're living. And they're enjoying their hive alive pollen patty. All right, I had to get off my knees because my knees are old and they hurt. So there you go. All right, let's uh, let's have a look here. See if the Crynoc bees are doing what the Crynoc... This is the second one of those carpenter ants that I've seen. Am I going to have to put ant motes? Are they, are they falling off of me onto the hive? I had one on my veil. These carpenter ants are everywhere. Okay, what do we have here? Cattywampedness. That's okay. I gave that to you to start. And they're storing honey in that cattywampedness, so that's okay, I guess. I want to take some advice from uh, another beekeeper on YouTube, who sent me a comment letting me know that they usually carry... Oh, look at that. That is a nice frame. Let's have a look and see if we can find the Crynoc Queen. I think she's green. There's a lot of open brood there, a lot of milk brood. Larva. Excellent. What do we have here? We have eggs, milk brood, larva. Okay, so there's eggs on this frame. There she is right there. 
Her green is wearing off, but there's our Crynot Queen doing her Crynot thing. I love it. All right, young lady. I'm going to uh, get out. All right, we are at the Enigma Hive. Now, we do have a Queen Excluder on this hive. So we will go through the top at first just to see if they're storing anything. It's unlikely they are because, well, to be honest with you, they don't have a big population in here. I remember, here we go. I mean, there's probably a whole lot of nothing happening up top. Uh, I mean, a whole lot of absolutely nothing. We're not even gonna waste our time here. Let's go down. Maybe I should take this box off and give it to hive number 13 as a secondary brood chamber. I may have to do that. I may have to, uh, to supply an extra brood chamber to every one of these boxes to give them a deep and a medium. All right, we have a cluster in the middle on a nice warm day, but you know that's where the bees are clustered. All right, I will let you know what I see. Now, what we want from this hive, the only thing that I want to see is a single egg. If I see one egg, one egg in one cell, if I see two eggs in one cell, then that means a worker brood situation, and I don't want that. But these bees are very, very calm. And very, very calm usually means queen right. Okay. Oh, look at all these queen cells. Another one's chewed out. Four of them right there. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna move that. Let's see. Nothing happening there. No eggs in there. Okay, what do we see here? It's an awful lot of quiet bees gathered around nectar. No eggs, no queen, no virgin queen. But what's interesting is those eggs that we just found on the bottom of this frame, they appear to be abandoned. I mean, I, there, there's no bees on this frame, which means they've, they've given up on those. Maybe the queen stabbed them and uh, has moved on. Maybe they've got their queen and they're happy. Let's just hope that we find one that's uh, laying eggs somewhere. Let's have a look here. Okay, oh, we're building a queen cell right here in the middle. Right there, it's empty. But what your girls are doing don't do it do we see a queen now i did not mark her last time i was out here if we find her again today i will mark her she was a uh a blonde tiger striped virgin i think she was a virgin last time i was in this hive but they definitely have a queen they're they're awfully awfully quiet there's a couple more teacups Nothing happening on them. Let's look for our queen. Do we see her? Have a look. If you see her, shout her out. If you see her, shout her out. She's got to be around here somewhere. A lot of bees on that frame. A lot of nurse bees. Let me uh, pull this up and see if I see any eggs. I don't see any eggs. They're just they're just hanging out. On the other side, do we see a queen? We're just gonna go ahead and give them the old splatteroni here. I'm gonna get them to spread out a little bit so we can have a look. You see a queen? Shout her out, I don't see her. Another teacup, we'll give that the old tear down. Okay, let's go to the next frame. She's got to be in here. This hive is dead quiet. They're not trying to get me. They're not being defensive. And as I say that, I get a bunch of guards jumping on me. But that also happens when you get on the frame where the queen is. So maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe we're about to get, maybe we're about to get lucky here. We're going to find a queen and some eggs. Here we go. Let's have a look. Look at that beautiful frame tons of bees on it I don't see any eggs yet I may have to get my my flashlight to look keep your eyes peeled for a queen 
Look how calm they are. This doesn't make any sense to me. Look at that. Oh, there's our queen. Okay. There she is, right there. We are going to go ahead and mark. Well, I don't appear to have my queen cage with me, so I'm going to try it the old fashioned way here. Try to pick her off of there. There she is. Well, she's running. Oh, she flew, but I caught her. No, I didn't. Okay, now I've just chased the queen out of this hive. I don't know where she went. Oh, no. This hive. I should have not tried that without a queen, queen cage. I don't know where she went. She's either on me or someplace else. Let's see if I can find her again. I guess I can't mark her without a cage. I'm not, I'm not that skilled. There she is okay she's back on there there she is so we know she's still there she's right there okay this has been an eventful day all right I almost really 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 screwed up here I mean I tell you what very close um I'll put the queen excluder on there just so that I know that she's gonna stay down there there's a dead drone we will put these girls right here on the top there's only a like five bees in there but that's their medium hopefully that uh, that hive will do what it needs to do and uh and do something all right so the enigma hive has a queen no thanks to me i mean they almost didn't but they are queen right all right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Now, I tell you what, it did not turn out as planned today. I expected that I was just gonna go through the Enigma Hive and make sure that their queen was laying and then go through the Crynock Hive and make sure that everything was okay there and then do a cursory inspection on the rest of the boxes to make sure that I didn't miss any queen cells. Well, as it so happens, I missed some queen cells because hive number 13 started swarming and kind of diverted all of our attention right there. Now, we did find two virgin queens in that box, three chewed out queen cells, but apparently one queen got away with about 100 bees. They were up in that tree. They're not there now, but they had about a pine cone sized swarm, so we lost very few bees. Um, we did have the opportunity, though, to inspect that hive completely and found that there's a lot of full frames of honey waiting to be capped in that box, so those girls are working. Um, we also found the queen down on the bottom and a queen cell down there that I had to uh, dispatch but I did do a checkerboard configuration down there in the bottom and gave them empty empty full empty full empty full empty full frames down on the bottom so the queen should feel like she's got more room and they should really start drawing out some of those empty frames um, other than that the cry knock queen and that hive looked okay we found the cry not queen she's doing what she needs to do a lot of frames are laid and they are drawing out comb everywhere I'm very very happy with that um, the last thing was the, the Enigma Hive. I tell you what, I made a huge mistake there. I almost lost the queen. Of course, I have a couple of queens in the bag I could have thrown in there, but, but that wasn't a very wise move. That could have turned out very, very badly. We did find her. I don't know whether she's laying or not. I got out of the hive, didn't see any eggs. I'm hoping that she's going to. Um, they were calm and protecting her, so all was right with the world. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this adventure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, 
I will see you next week. Take care.